Hello everyone, back to you to today's third video. We do the seventh and final update for the late summer Bank Friday weekend. And what a classic Bank Friday this is going to be. I think we'll remember this one for a long time. High pressure going to be in control from beginning to end. We're going to have loads of dry and very warm weather too. That's going to be turning hot over the weekend. We may be breaking temperature records for the bank holiday uh, late summer bank holiday, uh, Monday um, and weekend. Bear in mind, this bank holiday only goes back to the 1970s. Before that, the uh, late or the summer bank holiday, as it was then, was at the start of August for over a century. So uh, quite how the records this weekend would compare to the uh, to what it was before in early August, I'm not sure. But anyway, we could be breaking records for this um, bank holiday that uh, originates back in the 1970s. So um, I'll uh, talk you through the uh, charts one final time in a moment. Just to say that uh, we've released Germany Friday, of course, a month ahead look ahead, uh, and also we tend to update both of those videos are on the homepage. At the end of the video, I'll tell you what's coming up at Gazo is over weekend. So this is how things are looking on Saturday. We've got high pressure sitting to our east on Saturday, low pressure is out to the north and west, and so we bring up these very warm to hot southerly or southeast winds. Up red temperatures are looking very warm indeed. The 15 Celsius ice firm is heading into southern parts of England. There's a very weak weather front in the very far northwest across the far west of Scotland and down into west of Ireland. So a little bit of cloud, patchy rain there. But essentially it's a dry day tomorrow. And there'll be bags of sunshine, especially across more southern and eastern parts of the country. Temperatures tomorrow, it's suggested a maximum in London of 28, but you can probably leave that up to around 30 degrees, I would have thought, 86 Fahrenheit, definitely cheaper body in London tomorrow. More widely across England and Wales, we're talking about temperatures of mid to upper 20s Celsius. That Sunday, high pressure remains well and truly in control, a large ridge of high pressure dominating the scene. Uh, Sunday upper air temperatures are even hotter, so we're bringing the 15 Celsius ice firm into southern, southeastern parts of the country. And again, completely dry really across most parts of the country. It might be a shower sparking off across parts of western, southwest Scotland, maybe one across Northern Ireland, but really it looks like a dry day with loads of sunshine on Sunday. It's a bit hotter. Temperatures in London suggested to be up to 30 degrees. So add a couple of degrees on, 32, maybe 33, can't be ruled out in the middle of London. That would be around 90 to 92 Fahrenheit. Widely temperatures again around the 30 degree mark. So uh, mid 80s Fahrenheit, definitely like across particularly much of central and eastern Britain in uh, probably unbroken sunshine. And then that's how we finish up uh, the bank holiday weekend on bank holiday Monday. And yes, high pressure continues to be dominating the scene for bank holiday Monday. Upper air temperature looking hot, especially so for southern and southeastern parts of the country. A weather front is approaching the far northwest of Scotland, bringing some outbreaks of rain there. Uh, and just a chance of one or two uh, heavy showers sparking off across Wales, southwest England, the atmosphere just bobbing a little bit on Bank Holiday Monday. That said, the vast majority of the country looking uh, dry, and certainly for central and east areas, you would expect more prolonged sunshine. Up this eastern side, it's going for maximums of 30 or 31. So 32, possibly 33 achievable. That's low 90s Fahrenheit across eastern Britain on Bank Holiday Money. Just going to turn a little bit cooler out in the far west. That will be the trend through next week. It'll be quite a gradual process. But through next week, we will cool things down after this record-breaking or potentially record-breaking uh, hot bank holiday. We can bring to an end what has been a very strange summer, but often uh, a very warm summer. Right, so that's it then for the uh, Bank Holiday updates. I think we're in for a classic Bank Holiday weekend. Uh, if you can get to the coast, that's where it'll be a little bit cooler and uh, no doubt be a little bit more refreshing around those coastal areas. Inland is going to get pretty hot. So that's it for Bank Holiday uh, Weekend updates. And, uh, of course, whatever you're doing over this Bank Holiday Weekend, I hope you have a great time. Stay cool, uh, but have a great time. And um, 
yeah, just have a, have a really wonderful Bank Holiday Weekend. If you're sticking around, and it's going to be very busy over the Bank Holiday Weekend at Gasworth, it's, we never stop here at the website. So tomorrow we've got Weekend Forecast, and uh, we'll also have Week 10 Day Video Update. But we'll begin with the third and final Season model Roundup for the autumn of 2019. So that's getting all of the long race models together for the last time. See what they're all showing for the autumn. That'll be the first video up tomorrow. Sunday, very busy day. It's Solar Sunday. So that's going to be quite an interesting watch. And we'll also have the final Gasworth is Sunday Roundup. And there'll be a little sneak peek for winter uh, of uh, for a little sneak peek for winter 1920. Uh, on Sunday afternoon. So that's just going over the methodology, talking about what we're going to be looking at for your winter updates. But it does include one or two uh, long range models uh, in that one. And then on Bank Holiday Monday, as always, we have our historic video on a Bank Holiday Monday. So this uh, time we're looking at the autumn and winter of 1938, 1939. And that, that may seem like quite an obscure and strange choice. It is a little bit obscure, I have to say, but you'll find out why we have chosen that for our historic weather video on Bank Holiday Monday. There's a very good, well, there's a couple of very good reasons for it, but more about that on Monday. And also on Monday, we'll have Terry Scholey's autumn uh, 2019 forecast as well for you. So we don't stop whatever is going on um, in terms of bank holidays and whatnot. So if you can, keep checking back more. Otherwise, have a great uh, Bank Holiday weekend. And uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.